Hello and welcome to Dove Biology, Apes Lessons to Go. In today's video, we'll be exploring climate and biodiversity. Weather is a local area's short-term physical conditions, such as temperature and precipitation, measured over a few hours to a few days. Whereas climate is going to be a region's average weather conditions measured over a long time, from a period of a few decades to a few thousand years. Climate is going to be an essential part of Earth's natural capital. Both latitude and elevation can help to determine climate. There are four major climatological zones that we'll find on planet Earth. Starting at the equator, we're going to be in our tropical zone. As we move away from the equator, we'll enter into the temperate zone, and then into a subarctic, sub and then into the polar zones. Now it is these various climates that will produce unique environmental conditions that will influence the overall biodiversity of the planet. Now there are many factors that influence Earth's climate. Some of them include the uneven heating of the Earth's surface, the rotation of the Earth on its axis, the various properties of air, water, and land, the gases that are present in the atmosphere, and Earth's overall surface features. So one of the first features that we'll look at that influence Earth's climate is the uneven heating of the Earth's surface. The Earth is tilted on its axis at 23 and a half degrees. As a result of this tilt, there's an uneven heating of the Earth's surface. Air is actually going to be heated more at the equator where the sun's rays strike directly than at the poles where sunlight strikes at a slanted angle and spreads over a much greater distance. As a result, the differences in distribution of solar energy are going to help create the various climate zones. Another characteristic which influences Earth's climate is the rotation of the Earth on its axis. As the Earth rotates on its axis, it actually spins faster at the equator. As a result, the rising warm air is deflected over different parts of the Earth, creating cells of prevailing winds that will distribute heat and moisture in the atmosphere. This is referred to as the Coriolis effect. Another characteristic which influences climate is going to be the various properties of air, water, and land. Warm, moist air tends to rise, whereas cool, dry air will actually fall. When air rises, it'll create an area of low pressure, whereas falling air will create an area of high pressure, and the air is going to tend to move from high to low pressure zones. So as the sun heats up bodies of water like the ocean, that warm, moist air is going to rise, expand, and then cool as it gets higher into the atmosphere, where it will condensate and form clouds, which will eventually lose its moisture as a result of precipitation. That air will also lose its heat as a result of radiation out into space, resulting in cool, dry air that will begin to fall and compress and warm as it gets lower and lower in the atmosphere. This is, of course, creating a high pressure zone. Air tends to move from high to low pressure, and so this creates a convection cell. As warm, moist air is rising and cool, dry air is falling, we're distributing heat and moisture across planet Earth. So the heat and moisture is actually going to be distributed over six giant convection cells. This uneven distribution of heat and moisture will actually lead to the forests, grasslands, and deserts that make up all of the Earth's various biomes. Another major factor that influences our climate is ocean currents. Ocean currents will influence climate by acting as a conveyor belt that will move heat to and from the deep sea and transfer warm and cold water between the tropics and the poles. It is the various differences in temperature and water density uh, that create the warm and cold ocean currents. Prevailing winds and irregularly shaped continents interrupt these currents and cause them to flow in roughly circular patterns between the continents. It is that di distribution of heat that brings warm water from the equator up towards the poles that keeps places like Ireland and England much warmer than they would otherwise be at such a high latitude, 
For example, the average low in London in December is 42 degrees Fahrenheit, while in St. John's, Newfoundland, the average is 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Another thing that will influence climate will be the greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases allow light, infrared radiation, and ultraviolet radiation to pass through the atmosphere. They include things like water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. The solar energy is then absorbed by the Earth and transformed into heat, which radiates back out into space. Some of that heat is actually going to be trapped by those greenhouse gases, which allow our planet's atmosphere to remain warm. This is referred to as the greenhouse effect. Finally, uh, the Earth's surface features can actually affect local climates as well. For example, heat is absorbed and released more slowly by water than by land. This is going to create land and sea breezes. During the day, uh, the Earth warms much faster than the water. As a result, we're going to get quite a bit of evaporation coming from the Earth, creating a low-pressure zone. Uh, a high pressure air is going to move from the ocean towards the land creating nice cool sea breezes. At night the opposite is true since the ocean is going to be warmer because it's hold on to a lot of its heat from the day as uh, more air, uh, warm air is going up into the atmosphere creating a low pressure zone then high pressure air from the uh, land is actually going to go towards the ocean, creating a land breeze, helping to regulate uh, the area right near the ocean and keeping it nice and cool. Mountains can actually interrupt the flow of prevailing winds and the movement of storms. Um, uh, warm air that's full of moisture can actually be trapped on one side of the mountain, uh, causing the one side of the mountain to actually have a moist habitat, whereas on the other side it's going to be dry. This absence of rain on one side of the mountain is called the rain shadow effect. Finally, uh, cities, as a result of uh, their materials that they're made out of, uh, like brick, concrete and asphalt. These things tend to absorb and hold heat as well as tall buildings tend to block wind and other airflow. As a result, uh, around cities uh, the temperature seems to be much higher than outside of that city. This is referred to as the heat island effect. Terrestrial biomes such as deserts, grasslands, and forests make up one of the components of Earth's biodiversity. Why is one part of the Earth's land surface desert, another forest, and another grassland? Well, the general answer lies in the differences in climate, resulting mainly from the long-term differences in average temperature and precipitation that is caused by global air circulation.